Hello, Junta viewers. This is Avindian, welcoming you back to Out of the Park Baseball 22 with the St. Louis Cardinals. And this will be our final episode with the Cardinals. Uh, because it's going to be time to move on to a new team next episode. So, um, again, I know I say to this at the end of last episode, but in case you missed it, uh, we are um, we are planning to go for um, for the Tigers, um, unless they win the World Series this season, which uh, seems pretty unlikely, since the White Sox have gone won four straight pennants and and won the championship twice. <clears throat> but we're gonna see what happens um, this season and see if we can't go out on a high note. And win ourselves a World Series. Although it is certainly not guaranteed. Um, a quick overview of our team. What do we want to go for and try to improve this offseason? Um... We could probably use an upgrade uh, at second base, I think. We can always use more pitching, but I think we're just going to take the best player available and see what that gets us. A couple people recommended trading Bill Terry, and while I'm not opposed to that, the problem is, is that I don't have anybody better. I just don't. Um, so if the right position player falls to me, then then sure, maybe I'll go for it. But I mean, the dude's been aces. I don't know who would be better at the moment. Um, do I anticipate that we'll have another great season? I hope so. Mostly because I hope this is not a permanent decline on the part of George Selkirk. Um... Just because this is so far off of all of his career numbers, and he's still only 31. Uh, but that doesn't mean that we won't try to acquire a new right fielder if the right one presents themselves. I think I saw that there is an excellent... Yeah, I don't see any point in getting Don Hurst when, when Ralph Terry... Or not Ralph Terry. Bill Terry is just as good. Here we go. Ben Chapman. So Chapman is excellent defensively. He's a great base dealer and he gets on base. On the flip side, he just had his own inexplicable awful season. So maybe I don't want to... I don't want to buy low on him. Or buy high on him necessarily. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Uh, in terms of the draft, we're going to be picking 13th overall. And I'm not quite sure what that's going to entitle us to, but we're going to see. Uh, I have some suspicions that we'll get a couple of decent players out of this draft. Um, do we have any... Scouts to hire. I do need a new team trainer. Let's proceed, shall we? Ah, right. Both of you need to be activated, don't you? We could also probably upgrade uh, at second base now, especially because Tony Piet is no longer going to be the amazing hitter that he was. And although he hasn't been terrible defensively what the heck why is catcher era showing up here i don't get it but <clears throat> he's definitely been declining in recent seasons and may be that we've gotten what we can out of him and need to upgrade at second base the pitching staff having jim bagby russ bowers monty pearson and johnny vandermeer for a full season as well as bill walker might mean that we don't desperately need one. Um, we could always use uh, a top quality reliever if one is available. But yeah, I think we've got some options here. I really do. 
And we'll just have to see who's available when it comes time for us to take our pick. Yeah, I can't give you a promotion because that would be my job. So I will... I will allow you to depart if that is what you wish. Hey, Johnny G got a reliever of the year. Nice. And Silver Slugger for Gabby Hartnett. That's not a surprise. <clears throat> so I wouldn't mind hiring somebody to help fix this. I need someone who's easygoing. Uh, here, you know what? Give me the coach ratings. No, it's not on there. Um... Tendencies. I guess one of the places to see this is to like click on this here. Okay, your personality. That's what I'm looking for. Interesting. It's under coach tendencies for some weird reason. And remember, this is someone who I really don't care about. You know what? Owen Shannon, I'd like to offer you a chance to be my assistant GM. And that way you can you can be destroyed when I leave. What is your current position? I'd like to keep you if you take it. So you basically want a promotion, don't you? Well, the question is, dear friends, yeah, I really don't care. If they want you as your first base coach, then, then that's fine. Ooh, Monty Pearson won the Cy Young Award. Mostly for his work with Pittsburgh, but I'll take the award anyway. Wait, really? You're telling me that the White Sox wanted you to be a first base coach and your decision was, I want to be a pitching coach for the AAA Memphis Anglers. You know what, dude? Do you? Uh, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Oh, uh, here we go. Red Smythe, you haven't even done anything, but you've been promoted. And... No thanks. Hey, Zip. Boom. Done. Well, that's good news. Do 
you would give me Andy Reese and Ray Mack for Russ Bowers. That's a big fat no. Although, I don't know how you're able to pitch 200 innings a year and pitch so well. I really don't. Andy Reese is fine. Ray Mack is fine. I think I can probably do better if I do decide to trade Russ Bowers, but I want to see who's available in the draft. No, you're worse than my current right fielder. I mean, I know that I'm going to be the Tigers manager, so maybe I'd do it anyway, but... Now, this is intriguing. Like, Melamata is just playing better than Harry Craft. Can I keep Eddie Feinberg? Or can I keep Eddie Miller? You know what? I will give up Miller. This is this is a nice flat upgrade. Wish I could keep one of them though, just because I want a good defender. Yeah, you know what? You want Milk Gray, you can have him instead. And I think that just makes us a better team. Uh, without question. He's a better defender. He's a better hitter. Uh, he's just better than Harry Craft. So I happily welcome you to the Cardinals uh, and hope that you can give us the quality that we deserve. Now watch. The best player now is going to be a center fielder, but that was just too good a deal. It was too good. Uh, I couldn't pass that up. Jesus Christ, everyone seems to be getting offers to go other places now. I noticed when I signed on today that they released a new update. I wonder if that's the issue. Uh, that they've like dramatically increased people wanting to, to change teams or what have you. That Dom DiMaggio guy's not very good. I'm kidding. Um, he's the second best DiMaggio. No obvious Hall of Famers, though. Pete Reiser was close. He played for, I want to say, Brooklyn for a long time. Yeah. Um, there's some good players here. There's just not a whole lot of them that I instantly say, OMG, that will make us the greatest team ever. Uh, we'll do default, and we'll sort by potential. Oh, you can just drag and drop columns now. I think you could always do that. I just keep forgetting about it. Who do you think is going to fall to me? OSA. You think I'll end up with Sibby Sisti. I don't think that's a very good choice, but we'll see who's left. All right. So, options. Option one, Mickey Harris. A very, very solid starting pitcher. I'm, I have nothing against Mickey Harris whatsoever. I'm just... An, somewhat concerned that it doesn't give us a better team right now uh, but maybe it does i mean he's not better than raffenberger or shore i mean he's better than raffenberger or shores but he's not better than anyone else in the rotation right now unless i convert bowers into a reliever and let someone else pick up his innings out of curiosity Yeah, he instantly becomes one of the best relievers in the majors. If I just use him as like a super reliever. 
Because you've lost significant stamina over the years. But the thing is, I guess your stamina has never been great. And because it's never been great, maybe we are better off just leaving you as a starter and letting you just continue to pitch really effectively. Um, okay. <clears throat> so taking Harris doesn't help us right now. It, it would help the Cardinals in, say, a year or two because it would give more flexibility. I don't really care about that, though, because this is my last season with them. So I'm not going to take Mickey Harris. Danny Litweiler. You are quite a nice little outfielder. And being honest with you, I don't have a huge amount of depth in the outfield. And I know he's not a great right fielder, but he'd be some nice George Selkirk insurance. Uh, let's focus on batters, please. I don't need another shortstop. I'm perfectly happy with, with the guy I've got. McCormick doesn't know quite the all-around bat I'm looking for. Sibby's just bad. Johnny Rucker is a good hitter, but doesn't really play the field all that well. Uh, I think we're just going to take Danny here. I just think he's the best choice. He gives me a solid bat I can pick up off the bench. Done. Uh, with a second round pick, I'll happily take Johnny Rucker and let him learn how to play in the outfield later. Done. Steve Rakunik. Seems like a good position. And then I really don't care at this point. Uh, do your thing, game. Is there anybody here that I'd like to put on the Rule 5 roster? The answer to that question is a big, fat, throbbing no. Uh, there's just no reason I would do that. Wait, you took Whitey Moore. Who's Whitey Moore? Oh, I don't care. Fair enough. Um... I don't see anyone here, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to pass. Oh no, did I not vote for the Hall of Fame this year? I completely forgot about it. Gasp. Wow, I feel dumb. I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference, but yeah, I'm really sorry, friends. That's, I got distracted by trying to make my team better this year. How dare I? I mean, Harry Heilman, no contest. He was a Hall of Famer in real life, and he's arguably even better in this game because he got almost 4,000 hits. Jack Smith. Uh, I think you are equally deserving of the Hall of Fame. Easy choices, both of them. Yeah, sorry about that, friends. You might have been deeply disappointed in me, and for that I am sorry. 
Um, personnel. Nope. 95 4. Brilliant. And let's certainly not forget to rearrange the scouts. I don't know who our opening day second baseman is, and I'm hoping we can do better than either of our current options, and I'll tell you why. Worsler is a decent defender and actually had a pretty okay year last season. I don't necessarily mind keeping him as our second baseman because he does get on base at a very high clip, which means he doesn't have to hit super well for his glove to shine through. I'm deeply concerned about Piet, and I think he might be better suited to a bench role at this point in his career. Let's see if there is a quality second baseman on the player market. Uh, second base, please. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. No, no. Yeah, there's nobody here who's clearly better both defensively and offensively. So I think we're kind of okay. But maybe we'll get lucky and someone will try to sneak somebody through when, the, uh, when spring training happens. I could not be happier that you've increased my budget. I don't know what I'm going to spend it on, but I'm glad that you did it. Uh, Bill Shore is already losing velocity. That's whatever. I'm not convinced that we need someone like Jim Turner. I think our overall rotation is fine. Like, a tiny bit of the shine has come off of Johnny Vandermeer, but I still have five very capable starters, a couple of people who can pick right up off the bat as needed. So I'm good with the current rotation. Uh, Lettweiler to the majors. Where's what's-his-face? Uh, I want Rucker in the majors. Uh, at least give him a shot. Uh, Rip Russell and Mr. Rakunic. You can all have yourselves some playing time. Game. I need this to stop. It really just needs to end. This ridiculous idea that anyone but Lou Boudreau is playing shortstop. Like, it's just, it's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. That I would take someone who's a significantly better hitter and almost as good defensively and just be like, yeah, I'm good. Come on, game. Don't be like that. Uh, pitching, we're going to go to a six-man rotation. And that's going to be Bagme, Vandermeer, Pearson. Raffensperger is the sixth starter, and I'm fine with that. Let's go ahead and sim through uh, spring training. Like, I'm not really that interested in Bill Shores. He's just kind of insurance right now. Um, 
Nope. Mm -mm. I'm happy with the third baseman I've got now. <clears throat> no, you're actually just a bad defender. Well, that's bad timing. Bill, dude. All right. Um, so I have 35 players, 17 of whom are pitchers. I would like to get rid of five pitchers. Uh, Kennedy and Lee to the minors. Uh, Bill Shores is just gone at this point, I think. Hey, um, I guess I could check really quickly to see if I could get a decent deal for him, but I don't think anyone's going to give me anything for him. Bill, I'm just going to release you. Oh, there is Marius Russo. I've forgotten him as a starter. Yeah, I've got to make sure that that option is available to me as well. Um, I'm still going to take Raffensperger over Russo, but that does give me another starting pitcher that I'd actually forgotten about briefly. Um, where are we at? 14. Got to send down two more relievers. Uh, Rakunic... And Bryant. All right, position players. Rip to the minors. Shovel into the minors. Um, I'd like to trade Archdeacon. Because he won't take a demotion. And he's got a great bat. But I don't need that many players who just have great bats. I mean, I guess Rucker can, can play in the minors for a season. I think that's reasonable. Um, Golly. A lot of people just are not taking demotions, which is problematic. Here's my issue. If I send down Stainback, I have no one that can play center field besides Litweiler. Or besides, uh, what's his face? The dude. Uh, Selkirk is continuing to decline pretty rapidly. I wonder what kind of offers I could get for him. Just out of curiosity. Now, let's take this offer and let's kick it up a notch. And let's add um, Tony Piet. That literally changes nothing. Uh, that's disappointing. That's very disappointing. Um... The problem is that Litweiler is better than Selkirk right now. I'm going to try to trade you to somebody who desperately needs a right fielder. Oh, 
But let's check the trade block, actually. Let's start with that. I mean, Ben Chapman is significantly better than um, than George Selkirk. And I think he'd be a great addition to the team. And I also have no illusions whatsoever that you'll give him to me. Like, you'd be pretty stupid to take a worse version of your player. And I can't really afford to give up anybody here that you're asking for. So I'll pass on Chapman. Um, here we go. Where's the silly find a player thing? I think it's under free agency, isn't it? Here it is, it's under players, I was right. All right, hitters, I want second base or center field. With an overall of 50 or higher. And search all leagues. Sorry, second base or right field. Or oh, is it looking at players who are exactly rated 50? Okay, here we go. Someone had said in the last episode that they would actually trade Archie Vaughn for Lou Boudreau. I still wouldn't. But I would trade him for someone else we had. I had George Selkirk. No. Tony Piet. No. Yeah, I just... Like, Vaughn is clearly better than Boudreaux. Offensively. And he's a great third baseman. But then that leaves us short a shortstop. And I guess I could play Thief now as a shortstop. But is Vaughn the solution to my problems? Maybe. Am I fine with this deal? Am I fine with trading a shortstop for a shortstop and a reliever for a second baseman? I think the answer to that question is yes. Let's do it. Because we need to stack this deck to every possible conceivable configuration. Um, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bench Selkirk. I'm just going to basically set him on the bench and let Litweiler play right. I mean, I guess I could trade Selkirk and see if I get like a great reliever for him, but I probably can't. All right, what if I just traded Piet? What kind of offers am I going to get? Um, I'm just going to trade to get rid of him. I don't really mind if I don't get a great deal for him. This is just about clearing the roster spot. And then... Art Shires, I'm going to go ahead and waive you and designate you for assignment. This brings us to 25. I'm pretty sure we're better off with Arky Vaughn over Lou Boudreau. It makes me sad to see us give up a first round pick like that. But I think it's the right call. In fact, I think I'm certain that it's the right call. Um, and you definitely could have argued, and one of you did argue, that I should have done that last season. Uh, fair. I definitely should have. But let's see what happens this season now that we do have him. Um, all right. Our ace is going to be Bowers, I think. He's still one of the best pitchers on the team. Then Pearson. Then Vandermeer. Then Bagby. Then Raffensberger, because he's a little bit more developed as throwing strikes. Russo, emergency starter, long relief. Uh, Johnny G, Stopper. And then everyone else can do their own middle relief thing. And done. Okay. Contact. So, uh, Arky Vaughn is now the three hitter. Because of his superior batting eye. Uh, that makes Bill Terry more valuable as really one of two places. I could hit him as cleanup or I could hit him as or I could hit him second. But I think I like him best hitting cleanup. Then Solters is gonna bat fifth. Hartnett sixth. And Litweiler 7th. At the top of the order, we've got Mel Almada leading off. And Lonnie Frey hitting 2nd. Mr. Dario Lodigiani bats 8th and plays 3rd. And then we start filling out the rest of this. Selkirk, you're going to be backup pinch hitter. Archdeacon, you're going to be only pinch hitter. Stain back, back up at center. And Selkirk can back up and left. Uh, he's probably going to get real ornery real fast, is our is our friend here. Uh, and he's just going to have to to put a sock in it and deal with it. Uh, Thieve now is the better third baseman. And then I guess just for the lulls, because someone's got to be the backup, I guess Archdeacon can play first. 
I don't think that's unreasonable. And Thief now and staying back Pinch Runners. There we go, done. Copy them both over. That's a lot of turnover from a team that very nearly won the pennant last season. But I think we're significantly better now. I don't think there's any disputing that we are significantly better now. We're deeper, we're more athletic, um... And we have not only a good top-line pitching staff, we've also got a really high-quality um, backups, too. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty interested to see what happens here. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and, and get to opening day. I don't know how Cabby Hartnett keeps getting better at hitting as he's aging, but I'm certainly not going to tell him no. I'm going to laugh my ass off if we actually make it to the playoffs this season, knowing full well that all I had to do was just keep... Um was just trade Boudreaux last season, but whatever. <clears throat> Better late than never, right? Nobody wants Al. Goodbye, then. Archdeacon retires, a 300th homer for Bill Terry. <clears throat> you are not good enough to be part of the starting lineup, and you need to stop complaining. Okay? Stop your belly aching. Yeah, Selkirk, I don't care if you're happy either. Uh, you should have sucked less last season. Really? Is it is our chemistry that bad that everyone's just going to constantly bitch about not being used the way they'd like to be used? No, the team chemistry is fine. You need to shut up. Just, just stop complaining. Like, seriously, dude. All right, statistically, things are looking pretty decent. We're the fourth best offense and the fifth best rotation. Uh, there's definitely some issues in the rotation. Um, Russ Bowers is having a really rough beginning to his season, but I'm certainly not going to give up on him this quickly. Um... The defense could be better. Who is the worst defender on the team that is causing these issues? Okay, Vaughn and Lodigiani aren't great, but the rest of the team is excellent, so... If all I cared about was defense, I would bench Lodijani and play Thieve now at short. 
but I don't think I care that much. And it is so early in the season, it's only 29 games in, that I'd like to give it a bit more time. So that's what we'll do. Um, Bullpen-wise, uh, Stu Bowers got his brains hammered in his only appearance. But as long as the top reliever is doing well, I'm not too bothered by this. Um... Yeah, we really just need Bowers to start improving, which I expect that he will. And I'd like to see more out of Amada and Fry. But there's a reason they're the first and second hitters. And they both had consistently good on-base percentages in the past. So we're just going to sit tight and see how they improve. And, uh, yeah... Let's move on to June. That's a shame for Archdeacon and Russo. That's kind of a, a double one-two punch. Um, we're going to temporarily have Bill Lee back on the roster for the very specific role of just emergency starter but as soon as we can bill walker is being called back up um we do have another roster spot available and i kind of like the idea of getting a backup for first base like a full-time backup The question is, do I call up Russell? Or do I call up Rucker? I think we go ahead and call up Russell. I think he's good enough and intriguing enough as a hitter. That I'd like to give him his proper shot. Uh, just to get some at-bats in. Maybe even give Bill Terry a rest. Uh, like once a week maybe. Or once every ten games. Keep the old man uh, in, in good physical condition. Okay. This needs to stop happening, please. I'm real sick of these injuries all of a sudden. Like, literally wasn't the purpose of me spending all this money on a damn team trainer that he's supposed to be great. I guess he's actually not that good at stopping arm injuries. Maybe that's my fault. Okay, uh, we're just going to sim ahead two days. And then we get Bill Walker back. Oh, really? I have to wait another ten days? Oh, that's some bullshit. I guess Bill E gets to make a start or two then. You know what, fuckers? You need to stop this right now. Just instantly cease the pain and suffering you're putting me through. Like, you know that this is our last chance, right? This is your chance to give me a bloody break and stop injuring my damn players. And I'm still short a roster spot. This will bring up Clay Bryant, and he can be just a generic middle reliever. Um. Okay, and we'll do.
do this with Warstler. Friends, this might very well have just killed our season. Um, which I am not happy about. Not in the slightest. <clears throat> I mean, we got Whitey Moore back. That's definitely... No, he doesn't. I mean, I guess fine, but... All right, so here's what has to happen. <clears throat> we need to play efficiently. Maybe not perfectly, but efficiently until we can get Arky Vaughn back. I think that's going to be huge. Because this is an absolute dogfight of a, um, this is an absolute dogfight of a pennant race. And we're just going to sim ahead a month just because that should be about the time we get Vaughn back. Which we did. Goodbye, Lindsey Brown. Vaughn instantly goes back into the lineup. And I'm just going to start moving people up. And we're just going to copy this. So what we need is just a nice little winning streak. And that might be enough for us to, to try to put it away. Uh, Bill Walker and Johnny Vandermeer both made it, as did Johnny G, Arky Vaughn, and none of my other hitters. And you know what? That's fine. There's literally like a legion of people double-digit homers, and none of my players has double-digit homers yet. Um... So that's fine. Uh, I get it. And if Arky Vaughn wasn't hitting close to... Wasn't actually hitting 400, I don't think he would have done anything either. I don't even know what a shoulder subluxation is, but that sounds not good. Um, no huge changes, except Bill Terry is finally getting old, as is Gabby Hartnett. It's whatever. Um, I'm not really fussed by any of you just yet being uh, demoted or anything. You're having a bad season, bro. I'll tell you what we could really use, especially if Johnny G's going to miss a lot of time. We could use an upgrade in the bullpen. And then we could, yeah, let's see if we could get a reliever for Selkirk. A guy like Fred Lynn isn't terrible. Or Red Lynn, sorry, Fred Lynn is the outfielder for the Red Sox. Um... 
I really like the idea of getting Buck Ross too, though. They both seem like they're pretty solid. Oh, I didn't stop. Uh, yikes. Okay. Hal Smith looks really good. It's going to make the fans a little bit sad, but George Selkirk is not the man he used to be. Up uh, there goes Hal Smith. Uh, I'm going to make him my setup guy. That should improve things a bit, and you'll be my backup stopper. And last but certainly not least, I do want another outfielder. So the worst reliever, Bill Stu Bowers, you're going to be replaced by Rucker. And Rucker is basically going to play the corners um, and be a backup outfielder. And also be our number one pinch hitter. He's basically going to be George Selkirk, but hopefully without the crab assing. Um, done. Okie dokie. Here's my problem. I love Bucket Foot Al. He would instantly upgrade the lineup's power. This is beyond dispute. But then where do I play Moose Soldiers? Do I care, though? Like, if I can get Al Simmons, and he's as good as I think he is, which is pretty damn good, then I kind of don't need Moose Holters. Like, this is selling a lot, but no, I'm doing it. Why am I hesitating? If this gets me a championship, I don't care if feelings get hurt. So yeah, uh, Rucker, you're going to the Miners. No, that's not what I said. Miners. Simmons gets called up, and he's going to instantly take over in left field. And actually, because he's such a good power guy, I'm actually going to make him the cleanup guy over Terry. And then Solters can be the backup. And I know this makes you probably makes you a bit salty. Get it? <clears throat> but friends, uh, I'm I'm selling out to win a championship. That's what I'm trying to do. And I know I just gutted my farm system, and I frankly couldn't care less. Uh, that I do care about quite a lot, though, game. Can you stop? Please? Um, I need a starter. Because the injuries just keep coming, and friends, they don't stop coming. Uh, give me... Hmm. What would it cost me to bring good old Tex back? <clears throat> I cannot give up any of those players, sadly. I'll give you $200,000. Oh, I can't. That's fine. Yeah, Carlton is probably asking too much. Done.
Like, is he better than Jim Bagby? Absolutely not. Is he better than who I have available right now? Absolutely. That's... Both those things are extremely true. Okay. I really need you guys to pull together and get us a nice big lead. You're the opposite of a big lead. Um, Archdeacon can come off the bench and do some pinch hitting every now and again. I'm not opposed to that. Okay. Okay. Cincinnati, I need you to back the fuck off, please. I need you to stop. You screwed me over last season, and I'm not going to take it again. I need you all to just go to hell. Each and every last one of you Cincinnati Reds. That'd be great, thanks. How the hell are the Reds so damn good all the time? It's just beyond frustrating. Hey, 300 home runs for, for Gabby Hartnett. That's pretty exciting. Are you fucking kidding me, game? Are you absolutely joking that you're going to screw me again on the last day of the season? Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Oh my god, I... Mm, I'm sick of Cincinnati's bullshit. That's the second season in a fucking row that we got screwed out of the playoffs because of, like, one second of bullshit at the end of the season. This was not okay, guys. This is a bloody travesty, and I hope you get swept. You absolute assholes in Cincinnati. I could not be more furious if I tried right now. We did everything we bloody could. Every damn thing we bloody could. And we still came up short. I don't know what else we could have done. To be honest with you. I mean, yeah, there were some players who didn't play as well as we might have hoped. That's for sure. Bill Terry was disappointing. But we also got a lot of tremendous competition from some of our better players. And it just came down to, to two things, in my opinion. The injuries to the pitching staff. And just in general, bad luck. And I probably should have taken a more active role in managing the bullpen than I did. I accept this. And it's certainly a non-zero reason that we failed. But this should have been a walk in the park, and it wasn't. And I am unbelievably furious with Cincinnati for doing that to us. Because there's just no earthly damn reason that Cincinnati should have won the pennant this year. I'm wondering. Yeah, look at that. 
they were actually unusually lucky. Uh, we should have... Mm, mm, two seasons in a damn row. Two seasons. <sighs> uh, we're going to go ahead and end the award season, and then I will switch over to the other team. Yeah, what the hell ever. I'm salty right now. I'm extremely salty. Did we get any cool awards? We got a gold glove for Bill Terry. And a silver slugger for Arky Vaughn and Dario Lodigiani. And Lonnie Fry. So that's fun. All right. Cardinals, look, it is not our fault, in my opinion, that we didn't win a World Series with the Cardinals. We only won one pennant, and I would argue we should have won at least three. I think we should have won a pennant in 39 and 40, each time we finished a single bloody game out of the spot. Last season, maybe if we had traded for Arky Vaughn last season, we end up actually making the playoffs last season. Maybe. But this season, I did any, everything we feasibly could. And we still fell short. And I still don't know what we could have done differently other than, I don't know, manage the bullpen a bit more aggressively. Maybe. I mean, yeah, Bill Terry got old. Gabby Hartnett got old. But they were still productive. We got, I mean, maybe if we'd gotten Al Simmons faster, that would have made it an improvement. But... We had the best lineup in the league and the fourth best pitching staff and we were nowhere and we still fell short. I don't know what else can be done. Uh, what else could have been done to really make a difference this season? I just know that I'm super salty uh, and that I definitely think that we should have made the playoffs this season. I'm also kind of salty that Arky Vaughn didn't get MVP, but whatever. So, we say goodbye to the Cardinals and hello to the Tigers for the second time. Wait, Nick Paulina wants me to cut payroll? I never cut payroll. Holy shit. How on earth are they hemorrhaging money this badly? Who the hell do you have signed? Okay, so what do we have that looks good about this team? Let's do a quick rundown and then we will conclude the episode. We've got Charlie Keller, Hal Trotsky, and Hank Greenberg, and Don Padgett, and Eno Slaughter. We've got loads of talented hitters. That is beyond dispute. They're the second best offense in the American League last season, and that's great. The pitching staff is, what sort I'm looking for, bad. And I think that's how we're going to make this happen, is if we're able to start making some trades and... 
improving the pitching staff. Hey, it's Randy Gumpert. I remember you. Don't I? I guess not. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to make sure that we invest and make some improvements here. That is for sure. Uh, we do have an incredibly important uh, boost. Also, Stan Spence isn't even in the freaking majors yet. And he could be special. Oh, no, he is in the majors. Okay. Yeah, we're going to start trying to... Holy shit, Stan Spence. You are a dog shit center fielder. Hmm. Yeah, the price of this amazing lineup is a terrible pitching staff. Holy shit. Eighth in the American League in zone rating. I can believe it. I can absolutely believe it. Oh, yeah. It's becoming crystal clear to me why the Tigers have struggled. Oh, dear. Um, okay. We've got some fixing to do to make this team truly competitive. Like, we're solid at first and third. We've got a glut of great outfielders. Almost too many great outfielders. We don't have any good defensive outfielders. So I definitely think we start trading from our surplus to both improve the pitching staff, which desperately needs it, but more importantly, to start establishing a strong defense, a strong defensive presence. Yeah. Um... We do have another piece of good news, though, which is that we have the third overall draft pick. And that gives us access to someone like maybe Stan Musial? What? Oh my gosh. If Stan Musi Musial fell to us... I would be over the fucking moon. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to swear right there, but I'm just, I'm aghast at the possibility of Stan M Musial patrolling center field for us. Even Vern Stevens would be a pretty solid damn uh, choice. Or grab us some Tex Houston action. Eh, probably not that, but. So we've got a lot of potential, a lot of potential here in this draft, and I'm really excited that we're going to be able to pick third overall. I hope Stain the Man falls to us. I can't prove that he will, but I'd be pretty excited if he did. Hoot Evers would also be a good pickup. Have him play some center field for us down the line, but Stain is like ready right now. Uh, he would definitely kickstart our turnaround. Pretty darn quick. I'm not saying I'd take him third overall. But especially if... Because I don't want Dick Wakefield. Uh, he doesn't do me any favors. And I'm picking third overall. So I'm relatively certain. Because I would take... I would take Stevens over... Um, 
Rizzuto, I think. Who do they think is going to fall to me? So they think that Musial, Musial, I don't know why I keep saying that word wrong. I'm so sorry. And Stevens uh, go one and two, which actually makes perfect sense to me. I wouldn't be shocked if that did happen. Um, and if that's the case, would I take Houston? I mean, we desperately need an upgrade to the rotation. But I think we even more desperately need a great shortstop. And Phil Rizzuto is that. We're going to see what happens. Um, but this looks like a pretty deep draft in terms of pitchers, and I'm hoping that I can grab a decent pitcher or another important role player in the second round. I'm really hoping that both players pass on stay in the man, but I'm not. I don't think that's that likely. Virgil Trucks would be a good play, a good picture to grab too. I just think our most important issue right now is our dreadful defense. We take a look at fielding stats. Billy Urbanski and Auji Galan combined to cost us almost three full wins in the field. If Billy Urbanski is our shortstop again, we will lose like a thousand games. So no, he is not coming back. And he's also getting traded, by the way. Um, Burgess Whitehead is in a terrible second baseman. I could live with him being there um, another, another season. But... I wonder why the Tigers even drafted Eno Slaughter, knowing the team that they have, because they just don't have room for him right now. We'll figure it out. Uh, until next time, though, this has been a Vindian. Thank you for watching, and I bid you good day.